Welcome to the last edition of uh, JITA for the month of May. It is also the last episode of uh, JITA as we celebrate Africa Month series. Uh, I've been doing this since uh, the first Friday of May. I've taken you across the continent. to br- uh, Today I bring you back home. Today I bring you back home um, to the south. In short, I speak to people hailing from the beautiful country of uh, Zambia. And let me say, he is here. Let me say, he is here yes yes sir yes sir yes, yeah, sir, yes, yes sir. Zabs is here uh, I am a- indeed a- aka the last the, the last, last letter, letter. Correct. yeah Correct. in studio uh, manifest um represented uh, Ghana yes, uh, yes then we did uh, Usomi uh, she represented uh, Uganda. Then we went nice. to the north. Uh, we hooked Very up cool. with uh, Ahmed, uh, talking about uh, uh, Morocco. Yeah, well. Our journey now through Africa leads us to the southern part of Africa, closing That's the awesome. month. Short left to uh, Zambia. Who's Zabs? Zabs is, and it's amazing how I'm representing Zambia because I kind of feel like I am possibly going to be representing two countries. But Zabs is a Zambian born. Mm-hmm. Zimbabwean raised. Oh, yeah. Uh, South African based. Cross cultural. Yeah. That is correct. So, so, Southern Africa, pretty much, mm-hmm. I am the embodiment of the region. Pretty y- much. You're the right guy. When I guy. walk around, basically, I represent SADC. You are the I right might, guy to represent Southern Africa right so. now. I yeah. think I should basically be of, officially being given the title South Africa's representative, mm-hmm. Southern mm-hmm. Africa's ambassador. Okay. So, that's me, a hip hop artist. Um, just regular guy, really, at the end of the day. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you speak all languages from Zambia? Uh, I speak a little bit of Nyanja. Uh-huh. Um, okay, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, all, I'm fine. Uh, so I speak a bit of Nyanja. Mm-hmm. There's like 52 different dialects, at least, actually. Yeah. Uh, in Zambia. So uh, I speak I speak Nyanja. Um, mm-hmm. My mom is Lozi. Mm-hmm. Uh, in terms of what she speaks, which is also a Zambian dialect tribe, actually. Um, but Ndotaura and Shona of Futi. Shona Ndochi Taura of Futi. Oh my god. I am the ambassador, so I do speak a bit of Shona. And South Africa? Haki Boa, Kiwa Lesotu, Sesotu Lesipedi, Nkaridia Tuana, Hanyan. So I speak a little bit of both. This is Zulu now, so in Yaskulumanje, because Gatle Gatling, him Debel, so it's Debeling, this is Zulu, Ziafana. Uh, ekni prat ni Afrikaans <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, you're, you're <laughs> but amazing. But I do hear a little bit, so you know, uh-huh. I, I try, I try to, I try to communicate as best as I can. Okay. To as many people as I can. Great stuff. All right, you, let's introduce uh, Duncan Sodala, uh, record label manager. Hello there, Duncan. I'm great. How are you doing? Good, my man. Duncan, otherwise known as uh, the holster, pioneer uh, in uh, the Zambian yeah. hip hop scene. Yeah, I've got your um, uh, countrymen in here. My country, <laughs> my countrymen too. Uh, I'm South African countrymen as well. Uh, his name is uh, Zoops. Hey, uh, tell us. I, 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 I hear you're also known as a uh, holster. How did that come about? Yes, I'm also known as the holster. Um, well, it's uh, it's an old name that uh, my friends gave me way back when I started uh, doing the whole hip-hop thing um, around 2004. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you guys have got something in common. You're a hip-hop artist, Correct. right? And um, yes. And I see you, Duncan, as well. I mean, you, you do a whole lot of hip-hop. D- have you guys been in the same room? Have you guys spoken about collaborations <laughs> and stuff like that? We have, Duncan, haven't we? We have actually worked we've actually worked together. <laughs> we have. Okay. We've met we've met several times before. Uh Duncan comes here quite a bit when he's yeah. on his on his trips. So uh we met a few years back. Uh we even did a song together, didn't yeah. we, Duncan? Mm-hmm. There's actually a joint yes, out there we with did. the two it, of it us. On on the... All right. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah. So guys, listen. I want you guys to share with me, you know, your your childhood memories of uh, uh, Zambia. So let me um, start with you, uh, Zabs. Um. Sure. Um, my childhood memories were way back when. Um, like I say, my family pretty much started out in Zambia, uh, and uh, that was the late seventies, early eighties. So for me, the Zambia I remember was a Zambia, a Kenneth Kaunda Zambia. <laughs> you know, very KK, very standard sing of Zambia, proud and free. It was. It was. 
<laughs> I know Duncan is going to be laughing. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was it was not a mall-ridden place. Uh-huh. Um, very underdeveloped. There was like one main street going through Lusaka, mm-hmm. uh, and where we used to be, yeah. we used to be spending most of our time was in Mazabuka and in Chalimbana, which is the rural areas, yeah. and in Mukushi, which is even more rural. So I remember a very family-oriented space, very conservative space, and a space where even though everybody was um, had their own unique identity, there was a collective, united identity of Zambia. All right, it's such a wonderful, wonderful mm-hmm. place, but very underdeveloped. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but it, for the but, most, part. but it's, it's changed now. Of course. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, by so the way, uh, Duncan. And you, Zabs, uh, yeah. do yeah. not watch uh, stand-up comedy um, uh, Trevor Noah, where he talks about Zambia and escalators. <laughs> I'm just... I am everyone just, has watched... Everyone you in have Zambia already? has watched that and seen. they find it very funny. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> it's nice loving, lo- loving it ourselves sometimes. <laughs> he says, yeah. you guys have family outings just to go and it's ride on the escalator. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hilarious. That might have been my Zambia. Oh. That was my Zambia in there. Back there yeah. It's definitely not Duncan Zambia yeah. today. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's good music, good friends. Uh, Kaya FM uh, 95.9. Uh, so how has it been uh, uh, for you, Zabs, living in, uh, in SA? It's been fantastic. Uh, I've really, really taken to the space. I, I own it. Like I say, this is the home for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I have all the people I love and care for. I, I, I touch them every day. You yes, know? Um, yes. Except family, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just a beautiful space. It's, a, it's, 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 like, it's like one of those places that are an amalgamation of all kinds of experiences I've had. Melting pot all rolled into one. Mm-hmm. Where dreams can become reality. Effort is rewarded. Um, it's just a wonderful space. I right. enjoyed it. The, the, the hip hop vibe in Zambia, H- how well developed? Yeah. I shouldn't be asking that question, right? How far? How far are we in relation to um, you know the the, the rest of uh, Africa? Um, we are not too we're not too far away. It's, um, the main thing is that we just haven't exposed uh, much of our hip hop to to the rest of um, Africa, but. Slowly, we are getting there through collaborations, such as the one I did with Zab. Mm-hmm. Um, Don Pam recently did a song with Ice Prince and Pato Ranking from Nigeria. Mm-hmm. So slowly, we are getting to work with more people. And I think uh, Zambian hip hop will definitely be uh, a force to reckon with soon. All right. Uh, from what I've just heard there, those two songs, man, they're completely out of this world. Uh, it's uh, Duncan Sodala. Mm-hmm. He's a record label uh, manager. Before I let you go there, Duncan, uh, would you recommend um, what's yeah. your special food there when I come down to Zambia? <laughs> Our special food is the shima, which uh, you <laughs> call pap over there. Sadza pap, yeah. Sadza, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, for someone who's never been to Zambia, um, if they wanted to know a little bit about Zambia, um, our current president is called Edgar mm-hmm. Chagwalungu. Mm-hmm. Um, our capital city is Lusaka. Uh, currency is Kwacha, which is also the, the what they call the currency in Malawi. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Same one, yeah. Yes, um, the, the f- time to, difference to fly between there. Malawi and uh, between... Say again? Yeah, to fly there. What's the time difference between us and uh, Zambia? Yes, to fly to fly to Zambia, time difference is two hours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, and the most widely spoken languages, uh, mostly Nyanja and Bemba. Mm-hmm. Those are the two most uh, widely spoken languages. But they are, there's about 72 tribes in Zambia. Eh? All right, all right. Yeah, my mother used to speak, I think, about uh, Actually, three... 73. Zambian uh, dialects and you know we were young we're like nah it's uncool you know and now I'm looking back I should have learned you really should have should have learned yeah exactly <laughs> should have learned exactly yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I was mm-hmm. uh, there by the Victoria then, Falls um, and um, yeah I was exposed to a little bit of the nightlife how, how is it exactly our, our nightlife is it's good it's big it's thriving um most of the main places are in an area called Kawata and in North Mead in Lusaka. Those, those are most places where people will go out, have a drink and have fun and dance and stuff. All right. Cool. And wh- whereabouts are you, yeah. Duncan? Which city are you? I'm in, I'm in the capital city. I'm in Lusaka. Lusaka. Okay. Uh, when I'm in Zambia, I'll pay you a visit, mm-hmm. yeah? Probably drop a few uh, Shona, ver- Shona verses there in your studio, yeah? <laughs> 
Okay. Please do, please do. All right. Thanks a lot, uh, Duncan Sodala, for joining us on Georgie in the afternoon. Record label manager from Zambia. You have a nice weekend now. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers, Great. Duncan. Cool. All right. Bye, Zab. All right. <laughs> yeah, paying respects to Africa, Africa Month. Now, you have collaborated, as uh, so uh, numerous times with our special uh, guest on today's Live and Unplugged. Mm-hmm. His name is your boy, Proverb. Yes, I have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so many times. Uh, how was it uh, working with a Proverb? Verb is an, is he's an interesting guy. I think Verb. Um, a lot of people know so many different sides to him just by watching him as the as the show anchor for Idols. Right? Yeah, he's the host. So you can see almost his artistic side. You can see his serious sort of corporate side. You get a glimpse of his dad's side. Um, and I think all those elements come into his music. So I think Kai FM listeners are in for a super duper treat. Mm-hmm. He's one of the most powerful uh, punchline MCs I've ever met in my life. Okay, and he's a very good freestyle artist as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. So dope. But the biggest thing about Verb that I like. In terms of working with him, mm-hmm. his humility, man. Okay, yeah, yeah that still guy, down to earth. That yeah. guy is mm-hmm. just his humility is is, is is a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing to be around. It's mm-hmm. infectious as well. All right, yeah. So you 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 want to kind of soak it up. All right. You know, yeah, you want to kind of soak that. It's up. good for me to see, you know, that the, the hip hop community is growing. You know, acceptance of hip hop, you know, is also grown in tremendous yes. leaps and bounds and wow, people Georgie. just you just held on can i tell you something when, yeah. I, when i was on campus at rhodes university in the 90s right mm-hmm. as a long time ago we used to get laughed at and and we used to get made fun of because of our baggy pants and our love for hip-hop mm-hmm. music etc mm-hmm. etc et today everybody was into us i mean yeah. it today it's just everybody's trying to rap yeah and I think they all think it's easy. They think it's easy because I'm it's just simple. talking. Yeah, I'm just play a music there. Yeah, yeah. I would just do a word or two and spoken, but it's not that's how that's it's not. The, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. difficult. It's very technical. Yeah. But what I love about the fact that everyone wants to rap just means that now it's become part of who we are, the mm-hmm. fabric of our society. Mm-hmm. We're owning it. We're claiming it as our own. Redefining the essence of what it is so that we take it out of its Bronx, you know, iteration of what hip hop was in mm-hmm. the U.S. and making it very African. We're yeah. telling our stories putting our elements and our sounds into it and making hip hop ours, you know? And I love it. I love seeing what hip hop has become in South Africa and Africa in general on the continent. We love it too. I mean, even uh, America is standing up and noticing. Like, wow, South African hip hop has come a long way. Indeed, indeed. All right. Now, some quick fire questions. As a musician, you must have traveled to other parts of the continent. Which country did you enjoy the most? These are one word answers. Ah, wow. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, Kenya. Kenya. Yes. All right. Second question. Favorite dish from Zambia and another country? Ooh. Nshema from Zambia, obviously. Uh, and Mavej Kovu from Zimbabwe. Yeah, Kovu. Oh, my gosh. I went to your little bodies the other day. But, hey, listen. <laughs> Favorite hangout sports? My lounge. Two words, but that's the truth. Uh-huh. That's where I really, really get to downtime and enjoy myself the most. Is it like a man cave? It is kind of like a man. It's gaming, yeah. it's guitars, it's so self-indulgent. So All right. Yeah. Okay. Social media, uh, Twitter. Zub's last letter. Mm-hmm. With the at. Okay. At Zub's, Zub's last letter. letter. And uh, Facebook. Oh, you guys don't do Facebook anymore. It's so old school. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I'm, there. I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Um, Zub's the last letter. All right. Great stuff. Thanks for uh, coming through and sharing with us uh, your experiences. And uh, yeah, we are unifying Africa. Zabs and Georgia in the afternoon. Have yourselves a great weekend. I'll see you. Thanks for coming.